Setting dates in my courses is a little bit challenging. Understanding when you set start and end dates and how the students, ex what the students experience and what they can see and what they can access is important to understand. So this is a set of tutorials that's going to explain when you set these start and end dates, what the students see and what they can access. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to talk about setting uh, start and end dates on discussion topics. Now, when you place the start and end date on discussion topic within the course content area, it also places the same dates in the discussion topic within the submission review area. So I'm in the discussion course content area, and here's my discussion. I'm going to go ahead and set a date here. And I'm going to go ahead and set some start and end dates. I'm going to put this in the future of the date of this tutorial. So that's into the future. I'm going to click Update. When I do that, and I go to the submission review and discussions. This gives me a full list here and now this shows that this is available on this date. So it set the dates here. If I mess around with the dates here, it's going to affect the dates over in the content area. So these two items are linked. They're linked to each other. Now from the student's perspective, what happens? So what does the student see? So the student goes to the course content. You'll notice right here within the course content the student can no longer see the, the instructions. They cannot click on this to get to that. Now what's interesting from the submission review area and discussions, it becomes hidden. It is completely disappeared from the student's view. So if they go here they do not see it. Now what this means is that after the end date passes, students can no longer access um, their posts or other students' posts. Now, if you want the students to be able to go back and see their posts and other students' posts, then what you need to do is not set start and end dates at all. So I'm going to turn these off here and I'm going to go back to the Submission Review tab and click on Discussions. And I'm going to go ahead and edit this discussion topic. And what I'm going to set is locking. So the visibility is what's set as the start and end date on the course content. Visibility means this topic is hidden or available. If I want to make it so that the students have a, a period of time that they can submit to the or post to a discussion and after that period of time they can no longer post then I'm going to set the locking options and then that would allow the students to go back and review their post and view other students posts so I would choose a start date here and let's put this into the future and I put an end date here and I can display that in the calendar and save and close what that will mean is that you'll see it says locked. It's a different kind of icon. Now from the student's perspective, what happens? Again, the student goes to the course content area and it looks like they can go and click on this discussion. But notice it's locked, meaning that they cannot start a thread. However, they can actually view any posts that have already been done. And then again, if I go to the submission review and discussions, Again, it looks like the students can click on this and see this, but they can't actually start a post until the 31st, until the start date has been passed.